and what the philosopher said about loyalty, purpose, meaning, integrity, honesty, versus um, faking um, 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 one's own self in order to belong, authenticity, and the cost of it in terms of emotional pain, um, the need to have a balanced um, concomitant development in all area of, uh, areas of intelligence, so not just the cognitive intelligence, um, or social intelligence, emotional intelligence, technological intelligence, and all the areas of it. At this point in time, there is a dysregulation, I find, because there is this harmony between those areas. So technologically, we developed um, a lot, but we failed to have um, the same amount of um, harmonious development. Um, and to resolve this problem is not to perpetuate applying those extremes like wars and, um, you know, um, going into uh, dark middle ages and then we, um, you know, turn away from um, knowledge, enlightenment and learning and get to know oneself more importantly and co uh, cooperate and communicate and we go um, turn to superstition and which is important by the way for the spiritual um, part of the intelligence but also needs to be balanced out. Um, I only recently realized when I joined St. Helier's, my very first NHS job, um, at that unit, which is an intensive care unit, so it's need to know from those who don't work in it, it's like an ivory tower. Why? Because it's a bubble. And as such, um, it's a magnet for people who've got some autistic traits, who can and um, are able to think transactionally. And that also, not it's not a bad thing, it helps, because it protects us from the emotional toll of the whole thing. But it has a great great, great risk, where normally it fosters excellence. When excellence gets beyond a certain limit, it becomes perfectionism. And the big difference between excellence and perfectionism is that excellence is um, um, reflective, it buys in feedback, has a kind of um, a moral compass, has integrity, has loyalty, yet um, self-care, yet communicating, interacting, connecting, whereas perfectionism is shame-based. Therefore, uh, as a way of coping with reality or uh, things uh, like decisions we made which weren't good, is to actually cut those bits of reality out from the whole picture that do not fit. So resulting in this kind of one-sided, um, um, very deterministic, almost fetishistically um, a, a binary um, a view of the world and the things, it cannot even see, um, um, you know, what the bad decisions were. So the person's experience will be after a while that um, whatever they say or do is actually happening and it's always good and it gives them sense of um, controlling the world and everything around them, very narcissistic. It normally doesn't become a problem um, in cultures like it was um, um, the continental cultures or Hungary or a truly um, a multinational culture that was St. Helier's when we joined with Melinda back in 2008. Um, because if there was a, a something not good or you were kind of going off the scale, you were told quite clearly, so you didn't have to guess. However, English culture is avoidant by default for a variety of reasons. I don't want to go there right now. So. And as such, um, privilege is not attainment-based as, as it is in the continent, i.e. depending on what um, is your um, um, wealth um, or inherited or um, accrued uh, or educational status. Um, it's always perception-based regardless, meaning um, it, everything is to uh, address to your job title given in this situation and your formal and informal seniority or power within the team as opposed to um, your own self or your reality. So people can go mad in their job without actually realizing it. 
and they never ever get um, any decent feedback. That was my um, experience and it was very stark and um, led me to realize that actually I was no longer um, be, be, I wasn't able to offer um, what was needed at that time back in 2015 when I decided to retire after 23 years from intensive care. Not because I was a bad nurse, I just was not um, um, the, the thing they needed at that time.